They're YouTubers, all right? Another unboxing video. So this should be some RAM. Now, you know, normally I buy uh, eight gig sticks, occasionally a 16 gig. Been a while since I bought four gig sticks. And I got these. Now, why did I do this? Um, not that it's a good idea to mix RAM. Um, I do have some Patriot Viper RAM. So we're going to try this out. 3000 megahertz. Uh, we'll combine it with the 16 gigs to make 24. And I may, honestly, I, I've been tempted to take uh, two 4 gig sticks in, in dual channel and compare that to one stick that would, you know, be in single channel. And see if we really notice any real differences. Obviously, the manufacturers tell you, hey, you should only, uh, you know, go dual channel and have two of the exact same stick, same speed, yada, 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 right? So, you guys can't read any of that. Either can I. So, we'll just go ahead and get this out. So, 288 pin, DDR4. This... Uh, you know, depending on your motherboard compatibility, this should work, hopefully, with all of my uh, motherboards. Even though you most likely I will not find it listed, but we'll try it out. And hopefully, you know, I'll hit the 3000 uh, megahertz or higher. So that's what the back looks like. Can't really read that. I think it says CL15 or 16, 1.35 volts. And there you go, folks. This is actually um, really nice. Now, my 4133 megahertz Patriot RAM has these pieces that are, are glued to get are glued to the memory module. Uh, you know, kind of a stylistic looking thing, and they pop off. And hopefully that will not happen with these. But this looks pretty sharp. I think this was um, I want to say twenty eight dollars, something like that. Um, but hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.